Cisco UCS Manager Persistent Memory Policy Configuration A persistent memory policy allows you to configure how persistent memory modules are used. It contains goals and namespaces. In this video, we'll create a persistent memory policy with a goal and namespaces, include this persistent memory policy in a service profile, and view the persistent memory physical inventory and configuration after the service profile association is complete. To create a persistent memory policy, click Servers in the navigation pane. Expand Servers, Policies, and Persistent Memory Policy. Right-click Persistent Memory Policy and select Create Persistent Memory Policy. In the Properties area of the dialog box, enter the name of the Persistent Memory Policy. To create a goal, click the Add button in the Goals area and complete the fields. The default option for socket ID is All Sockets. In this video, we'll create a goal with memory mode set to 0% and a persistent memory type set to AppDirect. This will create a goal that is 100% AppDirect. Click OK to create the goal. To create a namespace, click the Add button in the Configure Namespace area and complete the fields. Select the socket where you want to create the namespace. For this demonstration, we'll create two namespaces. Namespace 1 on socket 1 and namespace 2 on socket 2. Click OK to create the namespace. Then click OK to create the persistent memory policy that we configured. Before you can use a persistent memory policy to manage persistent memory in Cisco UCS Manager, you must include the persistent memory policy in a service profile. Go to the navigation pane and expand Servers and Service Profile. Then select the service profile in which you want to include the persistent memory policy. In the Work pane, click the Policies tab and then expand Persistent Memory Policy. From the drop-down list, select the persistent memory policy that you want to include in the service profile. Click Save Changes and then OK. After a persistent memory policy is included in a service profile, you can associate the service profile with a Cisco UCS server. After the service profile association is complete, you can view the newly created configuration in the persistent memory inventory. Click Equipment in the navigation pane and expand to the server. Click the Inventory tab and then the Persistent Memory sub-tab. In the Configuration tab, you can see that the memory capacity is now zero and the persistent memory capacity is populated. The Regions tab shows the newly created regions as a result of the goal that you created and the Namespace tab shows the newly created namespaces. This completes Cisco UCS Manager Persistent Memory Policy Configuration.